Welcome back to DNJ React, where travel sparks conversation every day. In today's conversation, we've got the woman, the myth, the legend, Jessica Lee. Uh, today, this one is introducing Filipino street food to Korean content creator, Doobie Duba. <laughs> I, like, I that. like that name. That's, That's a badass name. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, let's jump in and see what we got. Let's go, man. Whoa! Oh, so good. Oh. Why are you sponsored by Adidas? Uh, hey guys, it's Jessica here, and today we're gonna have some authentic Filipino street food tricks with Tia. Hello. Hi, my name is Doobie Duba, or Tia Choi. <laughs> also doing food content and. Your favorite of your favorite series. I am fan and girly over Doobie Doobop. Like, we're well, you're so famous. Yeah, you're so famous. Here. We're doing the quintessential like Korean thing. I know. I have actually prepared five different Filipino street food, and we're gonna go level from level. So we're gonna start from like something that's uh, familiar to your palate until you reach like the epitome of exotic Filipino street food. Are you excited? Can you handle like exotic food as well? Well, when I first started out on TikTok, my like handle used to be Don't Yuck My Yum. So let's try. Right, right, yeah. Let's try my yum. Yum. My okay, don't yuck my yum. Okay, let's go with don't banana cake. <laughs> That's great. That's hilarious. What is banana cube? Banana cube. Basically, they say on TikTok it's the Filipino tanghulu. Ah, like banana. banana. Yeah, but obviously it's not tanghulu. It's caramelized brown sugar, top coated in sabah. So it's gonna be a little starchier, a little more heartier. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. It's really? banana. It has its own like scent. So try it. So there's actually two kinds. This is the banana cube, and then this is the turon. So this one is wrapped in lumpia paper. Uh -huh. Abby is known as lumpia yeah, queen. Yeah, that's the lumpia wrapper. And then the brown sugar is popped after. And then this one is straight onto. Okay. So this is the turon, and this is banana cube. Okay. This is my actual favorite Filipino street food snack growing up in elementary school. So try it. I'm so excited. I love how the caramel just kind of like coats everywhere. Ooh. Well made banana amazing. cube. This one's Toronto and this is banana cube. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, I saw the video. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> Jessica Lee's videos are cool because she doesn't just like go and show these places. She like works at yeah. Jolly Bee. Yeah, she works at it. like the the food stands yeah, the outside. Stands. She does it all, <clears> man. Yeah. Really cool to see. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of anything fried and golden brown, so this is like really right up my alley. Oh, okay, perfect. Hey, no, 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 I wanted that one. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see you guys. This is spicy? Okay, I want spicy. It's one too spicy for Yeah, it's not like that yet. Nothing is too spicy for Korean. Exactly. <laughs> So this one is the squid ball. They contract when it gets fried. So that's why people like that. But this is the better. I like the smell. It's really, really good. It's actually not that fishy either. I love the texture. It's like spongy but also crispy outside. I never thought that there would be a day where I admit this on content, but I love fishy balls. <laughs> you know, American humor, you know what I mean? <laughs> So this girl's channel salad, is like she cooks like stuff, right? How would you rate so, this yeah. over 10 as well? I'm gonna give the squid ball 9 out of 10 and the fish ball 7.8. That's not good, because like some people find it a bit exotic. Like the idea of putting like the sauce especially, but when we try it, it's actually really good. Easy, bring it on girly. I'm gonna take more. One. Now let's move on to level 3. Did you grow up in Central Manila? No, I grew up in the province. But Paula, I actually wanted to ask a question also because in your videos, you also make a lot of Filipino food. How did you know the Filipino food? My old friend when I was growing up in high school, she was a Filipino American. So I was exposed to a lot of Filipino cuisine through her mom. So like kare kare, bagu, Filipino mom. This story is so like a real story. It's a thing in the Philippines. Oh my god, your mom's city gun so good. Friend's mom? Yeah. Always cook and then you just steal a friend's <laughs> That's where my love for Filipino cuisine really started. So I always had a packet of like, this is not sponsored, but like North Filipino mix and like casino mixes also. Thank you to your Filipino mom for Thank you, Mary Ann's mom. mom. Oh, very Filipino. Filipino. Oh yeah, you know Bago O already. Yeah, Bago O, I have it in my fridge already. Come on. You love Bago O? I love it. I even have it just right. Also, Bago O is eggplant. It's so good. There's really nothing like it. You're really the master. Okay, so we're going to go eat Bago O now. Let's go. What is Bago O? Green mango or mangan hilaw in Filipino, and this is a very common street food in the Philippines where we just eat it with. They have the world record, like best tasting mangoes in oh, the really? Philippines. Yeah, so I'm excited. In the next like eight months, we get to go, go out there, test it out. I get to try my most favorite fruit, but over there where they won the world record. So oh. I'm super excited about that. All right. Bagoong, bagoong, okay. Yeah, so we put the bagoong on top and we eat it. But depending on the region though, sometimes they eat it with different condiments. Like from my region where I grew up from, they eat it with soy sauce and salt. But here in Manila, in this region, bagoong combo is more common. And when I was growing up in school, in elementary school in the Philippines, like during recess, the green mango kuya walk by and sell it. So just like that inside the plastic, you just eat it inside the plastic. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that's something that like I would never know and that's a very like it's really amazing that you have these like memories growing up with the street food and like how to eat it. So it's a peculiar combo, green mango and bago o, especially for a foreigner. So that's why I put it in level three. Mm -hmm. But since she's a fan of bago o, it might not be that challenging for Tina. We'll okay, see, we'll, we'll try it. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, me first? Yeah, you go first. Uh, she's my guinea pig. Okay, good reaction. But I love green mango. Okay, let's try. 
Oh, very different from what I thought it was going to be like. How is it? Like the only mango that I've had is very bushy or frozen. So this to me is a big culture shock. It's not even like bean papaya either. It's a very different realm. There's like a mm. third one right? Yeah, so there's a little bit of bitterness coming at the end, like pomelo a little bit, but it's really nice. It tastes a lot like quince, like a young apple is what it tastes like, a green I've apple. Never heard and of that. I'm a big fan of sour so and also salty. Yeah. So this is like so my kind of food, like, and what is bago ong made of? Normally shrimp, but then there are also different variations. Honestly, I could eat this with rice even. Like, I don't know if you guys do that, but I could. Oh, they do. Like, I feel like that's one similarity between Filipinos and Koreans yeah. is that we both love rice. So how would you rate? Watching her channel, I feel like I'm so one-dimensional. Like, I only try so many different foods. I know, I'm the same way. I'm really bad. Same with, like, like meats. I only try so, so many different types of meats, so many types of fruit, so many types of vegetables. We kind of eat the same thing every week, just over yeah, and over and over Yeah, because again. it's like mildly clean and it's cheap. Like Cheap and it's easy to make, it's fast. If you do organic here, which nothing in America is organic, no, it's, it's all garbage. Tox it all has toxic. It just has less toxins in it than, than, the, other than the other stuff. But so, but yeah. And you, I, and you pay more for it. And that. you pay way more, like 3x more. So it's not even worth it. Eat this, green mango. Love it. combination and me loving sour food and the Filipinos also loving sour and fermented food. It's really really right up my alley. It really has some Filipino blood. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So now we're gonna get more and more exotic now. So we're now gonna move on to some exotic grill. Let's go. And this is a Filipino barbecue. This one, pinasal, is more like fish, right? So you would usually need a rice and eat it like inside. And we're having street food. What's famous among the street food options here is the exotic part. Nice. The small one. I I'll give you the option. You can choose. But what I suggest is the isao, which is isao. chicken intestine. <laughs> Are you possibly up for trying other parts? Yeah, totally. I've never tried chicken head before. So let's get the chicken head. Chicken Are you head? sure it's all of these? Maybe. What? <laughs> Whoa. Thank you. So we have the exotic ihao. Ihao again is the grill. But the chicken head. I never tried chicken head myself. Me neither. I think that's the first for me. I've never seen chicken head ever. But I know a lot of the tatai or the ajoshi love to eat this like while drinking. Oh, I've never seen any young people even eat this. Lee, chicken head. Are you doing? See, he's not young. Chicken head, yeah. Let's try easy first, this one. Mm. This is the chicken intestine. You know how in Korea we also eat chicken intestine? Yeah. But no. chicken intestine. I've never seen them in Korea. I don't right? think we need it yeah, that yeah. much. So it's really everyone's favorite. No, I mean, there's certain things I can't. No. No, dude. No. I can't do it. That's where, like, I won't do it. That's where all the nasty stuff goes through, man. Yeah, bro. That's the same with like eating liver and shit. That's where yeah, it processes we, all the bad bro, shit. Bro, we tried that and that didn't go so well. Oh, dude, I can still taste it to this day. It's like the most worst. irony. Yeah, like blood, iron. Iron. Like blood iron, iron taste. taste. It's so gross. Yeah, it so was horrible. disgusting. I can't. Yeah, we, do were, it. we were on such a kick, man. We really thought we were going to go like raw and eat it, and then we tried. I was it. trying to be as healthy as possible. I that just can't work. do it. Favorite. This is Esau. This is my favorite. <laughs> Oh no. I don't know what it is that's inside, but there's something creamy and really nice inside that I really that's like. Probably it's food. Yeah. <laughs> that's what goes through the test. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna throw up. So, this one is also like, like a banana cube. It's taste by taste. If you go to a good place, it's really good. Mm. If you go to a bad taste, it's a little bitter. Yeah. This is a good place. Really, really good. Really, really good. I'm actually very surprised. I thought it was gonna be bitter too. Okay, gizzard. Gizzard is something that's that we that's eat a lot of things that hands off, right? Yeah. the texture. I like how chewy and bouncy it is. I just need something very refreshing to like wash it down. And today we have water. Thank you nature spray. So next up we have the chicken feet. Yeah, chicken feet. I never oh, no. tried this. I mean, in Korea, I, I love eat hot fat, but just this particular no. oh, barbecue form, I never no. tried. It looks really interesting. So in the Philippines, we call this Adidas. Really? Why? Are you sponsored by Adidas? Oh. That's so funny. Oh, you're wearing Adidas, Adidas actually. <laughs> oh yeah, so look at that. The three, it looks like chicken feet, right? Is that why it's called Adidas? Yes. No way, really? 
Yeah. That makes sense, Fifteen. though. That makes perfect sense. That's actually that. hilarious, bro, that they wow. named it after chicken feet. That's so crazy. I had no idea. All these years. Yeah. Was, uh, didn't have a clue. Every company means something. Yeah. I just didn't put two and two together. Wow. Learn we'll something learn. new every day. Absolutely. You Thanks, know, I'm Jessica. really trying it. There's always a first. Let's suck some toes tonight. Yeah. We can even, like, hold hands like this. <laughs> mixture of foods it's like intestines yeah. feet gizzards gizzard head mangoes uh fish balls fish squid ball. balls yeah i don't think i can do any of that bro she's gonna I mean, be the mango thing in the beginning the banana stuff that was kinda yeah cool. that oh and she tried the bananas yeah so she's yeah. mixing fruit and a whole bunch of weird stuff together that girl's gonna be on the toilet later Ooh, on that's gonna it's hurt like, it's like just by looking at her eating i'm full already it's a bit annoying to eat because there's yeah, so yeah. much of the head but it's actually surprisingly very sweet and soft. And you can see the eye right here. Oh, no, come on, man. You can die. Even if it's small. Oh! oh my God. She's, like, She's even surprised. surprised. Yeah. 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 Honestly, the eyes taste like tapioca pearls. They taste no. like boba. <laughs> it tastes like gong chow. Yeah. I'll just give you the eyes so that you can try. For real? No. So this is the oh, eyeball. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> eating eyes? Like, there's so many delicious foods out there. Why do we have to do this? I don't know. The head, the brain, the eyes, oh. the tongue's next. Bro, I'm like getting chills because I'm so grossed out. I can't Go back wait. to the fruit, please. <laughs> I think it's a really fun experience. Also, like the whole smell just like completely covers the street. Yeah. And I love just like eating anything grilled street. So solid 9.5 out of 10. Would have been even better with a bit of beer. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So that's definitely my favorite. So now let's move on to the epitome of exotic Filipino food. Balut. Oh my That's that egg. Oh, that fermented. Yeah, little baby. The little, little fermented. baby chickens. It's fermented though. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. But it's know. the actual like baby chicken. You just like gnaw on it. <sighs> All right. So we can do this. It's really divided. So if you have this, then you're really the master of master of master. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Honestly, it's very good. 
I just want a little more chili sauce. Uh, what happened? I don't know. To be honest, when you see it on social media, like everyone's like, oh, I thought it was going to be a bit like gross, but it's not at all. It's actually not gross. It's good. It's the look of it. Yeah. Oh, it's also dude, like very soft and no. creamy and it's very healthy as well. But you shouldn't have a lot of it because it's too high in cholesterol. I think the only part that Let's I think that was a little you. more different from what I've tried yeah. is like the hair, like the feather. I kind of just like chewed through the beak. The beak is also quite soft. You, you just swallow the beak? Yeah, you can swallow beak, right? Wow. <laughs> she doesn't know. She's like, right? So, like, I how are these girls so skinny? Right? Sure. They oh, eat so much. Really yeah. Well, that's just like a real egg, like a regular egg. Yeah, that's not bad. It's like a really well cooked egg. It's good. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a duck egg and a normal egg. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like this whole experience is starting from banana stew all the way to the fish balls and the barbecue, balu, tenoi. It's been a really, really pleasant experience. Yeah. And I could see myself. I feel like she's showing Jessica up in this episode. I have to say. Usually yeah. Jessica is the one leading the way, bro. This girl is just like, she's here, just she's anything. She's like, all right, you ready to try this? She's like, oh. Anything. Gone. Dude, she took the whole head. Head, yeah. Eyeball, everything. Just threw it back. Didn't even think twice. What a savage, dude. I think she's Ooh. she's the gangster in this episode. Yeah. Like, coming to the markets and having a little snack. It's really great. I really like the way that people eat around here. Thank you. I mean, food trips, they really know about their food here. Too. How would you rate Honestly, I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. Oh. I actually really liked it. And, and the soup was something that I've never oh, tried yeah. before. That's really the highlight of yeah. the, yeah, the soup. It's like the best essence of ticket ever. Oh, but thank you so much for taking me around. It's been such a fun experience. Know, like, thank you for coming to the Philippines for this amazing trip. Yeah. So, like, I mean, in today's video, guys, I really learned a lot from Tina herself. Like, really, like, it, it really inspired me a lot, guys. I'm going to be like Tina for my future food trips as well. So, thank you, Tina. I hope you enjoy the Filipino food trip. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye bye! Oh, guys. I don't know, dude. I don't know about some of them. I can do some of them. The intestines, the, the whole head, the, the, the balloon. I can't do, I don't think I. I'll yeah. try, you know, I'll try everything once. Yeah, good luck, man. But, Tell me how that goes. Dude, I don't know, man. I see some people like, um,. Uh, Waken or Jake and Bake, he's over in uh, China, like traveling around, and his friend gave him something from like a fish market off like the street vendors, and he the next day he like was showing himself just like laying in bed, like his stomach couldn't handle, oh, no. like he got really sick. So I'm like, I'm afraid because I'm you know so used to eating American food. If I go over there and eat stuff like this, I'm just like I'm not ever gonna be able to travel because I'm just gonna be like sick in the Stuck room. in bed. Like, yeah, dying. that's the only reason I'm kind of like worried about it, but. I guess the only thing you can do is just try it once and see what yeah, happens. You, you try it, tell me how it goes. I'll be the leader. I'll try it you once. It. Uh, the fruits looked amazing, though. Yeah, the, the fruits look good. The, the I sugar, could, I can brown. do that. Even What's at it? the end, they had the duck egg. Like, duck egg, I can do. Yeah, that's no fine. Baby. I can do some of the fish, too. It was just like the, the head and the, the fish eyeball. balls and the squid balls. I'm not, I'm not too eating sure. the feathers and the beak. Like, oh that's a little too God, much for me, man. I'm sorry. No, I don't I can't do it, man. I give her I give her credit. She has way bigger balls than me. Yeah. Seriously. She's a gangster, dude. She's but. a super gangster. Good stuff, guys. I am really excited to come out there and try different foods. There's just certain ones that just I'm on the fence about. I just don't know if my stomach can handle it. I feel like I'll have a pit in the bottom of my stomach if I eat that stuff. But yeah, I'm good, I man. will try it. I'll try my best. That's all I can do. But good stuff, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.